paid off windows can be easily obtained with practice. The most common that is usually the easiest to obtain for most sonographers is the apical view. And the best positioning for this is the left lateral decubitus, same as you would obtain your apical images, such as your four chamber and five chamber views on 2D echocardiography. The patient's left arm should be positioned up and out of the way with the right arm resting on the patient's side. And best access is usually obtained with an echo imaging table that has a dropout section for easy access to the apical window. For newer sonographers, it's helpful to find this view with 2D imaging, assess the valve both with the imaging and non-imaging transducers. Because this is sometimes the easiest view to obtain on the PDOF transducer, this is why the IAC requires not only that there be an apical view, but multiple views attempted with the PDOF transducer, and that there be a clear non-apical envelope obtained. Another window that's useful to evaluate with the PDOF transducer is the subcostal view. And a lot of sonographers kind of forget about this one, but it can be helpful, especially with a patient that might have a very low placed heart. And the best position for this is to have the patient lying in a supine position with their legs bent at the knee. That bend of the legs actually will help to reduce the pressure from the abdominal muscles, and it allows for better access to the heart. That positioning is also very helpful just for your standard 2D imaging of the subcostal view as well. Another very often forgotten view is the right parasternal view. From this view, it can be helpful both for the PDOF window as well as for 2D imaging. Often, this view can provide higher velocities due to the angle of incination. The best positioning for this is the right lateral decubitus position and the patient's arm should be positioned up and out of the way. Another window that should be evaluated with the PDOF transducer is the suprasternal notch view. And this should include not only the PDOF continuous wave transducer, but also 2D imaging, color imaging, and continuous wave Doppler with the traditional imaging probe as well. The best patient positioning for this is the supine position with a head tilt slightly back. The transducer should be angled to access the aorta as it exits the heart, and that might require to tilt the transducer towards the heart and possibly even slightly to the patient's right. The patient's arms should be positioned down by their side and out of the way. The bottom line is practice makes perfect. With the PDOF transducer, this is a technique that is perfected over time. It requires only very small movements to gain the correct waveform. And just remember, practice, practice, practice. The more you practice on normal patients, the more you'll be ready to utilize the transducer correctly when you have an AS case, and you'll be ready. Also, remember, Always utilize your Doppler audio signal. The Doppler audio should never be disabled during an exam, and that audio signal will help to guide you into the position and angulation of the transducer.